Hi guys, um, we're continuing with the Aztec Interdisciplinary Materials Software Notes. <laughs> I try to make that longer every time just for fun. Um, but um, yeah, we're doing the mathematics section currently um, and we're on the section of uh, measurements and conversions. We're doing the metric system and we're practicing um, converting between different um, uh, sizes of the metric system. So we learned all the basic prefixes um, that are used in the metric system. So once you memorize all the names that are the prefixes and what they stand for, you will be able to convert between them and use them in word problems, etc. Or to solve for stuff. So, um, let's see, um, so we were learning how to move the decimal point in order to convert between units. So, um, so for example, if you're moving from, um, you have to memorize the rule that if you're changing from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, um, you're gonna, um, the answer is gonna become, go from a bigger, bigger to smaller is gonna go from a smaller numeral to a larger numeral in your answer conversely if you're going from a smaller unit and um, to a, a larger unit uh, your answer is going to go from a larger number to a smaller number so that way you know um well, how how to move your decimal point, whether to make it a bigger number or a smaller number. Once you uh, memorize the number of spaces you have to move between the different um, um, prefixes that go with the um, basic unit. So deci point one of the basic unit, centi point oh one, milli point zero zero one, micro point zero 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 one. Deca is 10 times the basic unit, hecto is 100 times, kilo a thousand, mega a million. So example, 12.32 meters to centimeters, you know it's going to be two places or uh, there's a, you know, 0 0.01 or 1 one hundredth difference from meters to centimeters. So you're going to be moving the decimal point. Um, so since meters to centimeters is larger to smaller, your number is going to go smaller to larger. So the answer is 12,032 centimeters is the same as 12.32 meters. So conversely, if you're going from... 12.32 meters to kilometers so you know that between meters and kilometers there's three zeros or three place val decimal place values difference because so, um, one a thousand kilometers is in one I'm sorry <laughs> 1,000 meters is in one kilometer or one kilometer is 0 0.001 of a meter so anywho so three decimal places and to know which way to move the decimal places so you're going from meters to kilometers smaller to larger so the number is going to go larger to smaller so the answer is you're going to move the decimal to the left so the answer 12.32 meters is um, going to be you move it three places to the left 0 0.01232 kilometers is in 12.32 meters um once you do them more and more you get more familiar and it'll be easier for converting um so what else so for example say you were converting decimeters to kilometers so obviously dusty is smaller wait yeah two um, kilometers is bigger so you're gonna move the numeral change the numeral from a bigger number to a smaller number in your result 
Um, if you're changing from centiliter to liter, you're going smaller to larger, the number is going to get larger to smaller. Hectogram to a microgram, so you're making it larger um, to smaller. So um, your answer is going to go from smaller to larger. So after a while, it seems like common sense. But um, if you're stuck, just think of the rule. And um, the less, it'll seem less confusing because if you do it fast, um, sometimes you, you get confused which way the decimal point is moving. At least I do <laughs> sometimes. So um, what else? Um, let's see. If you're going to add zeros to the end of a number, make sure you add a decimal point before you add zeros. Otherwise, you will change the value of a number. That seems like common sense. Just um, note of that. If you may need to add zeros to the left of a number, to the left of a decimal point, this will not change the value. Um, this is just telling you that you need, you may need to add zeros to either right hand or left hand side of a number when you're doing conversions. So just be open to that because you're going to be moving decimals to the left or right hand side. So you're gonna, um, it's going to be useful to add zeros. And the zeros hold place values. Just make sure the decimal is uh, maintained in the right places and moves the right number of places in the right direction. Summary. To convert units, they uh, give you six steps. You uh, think about these six steps. Are the units going from smaller to larger or larger to smaller? So, hence, will the numeric value increase or decrease? And think about the rule. So, smaller to larger unit is larger to smaller number or numeral. The answer. Number three, um, um, which direction will the decimal need to be moved? Well, that's the same thing. Okay. And then, um, you may need to um, write some kind of notation or equation if that helps you as a relationship between the units like one meter is a hundred centimeters or something like that or one meter equals um, point um, one decimeters or point oh one centimeters or you know whatever you remember write it down and that, that way when you can convert um let's see so the, the equation you'll be writing is going to be the relationship between uh un one unit and the other unit so you can solve um and then once you write down the relationship you can know how many places the decimal needs to be moved um in order to make you know the well, if you're writing some kind of equation, the numerical values uh, need to come out e equal. Depends how you're going to solve the problem. But um, so when you move the decimal, and where you need to, you may need to add zeros in order to hold empty place values until you come to the correct answer. So you move the decimal appropriate number of places in the original problem. More examples. 3.4 meters is going to be how many decimeters? It's going to be 34 decimeters. So you know you're moving it one place because 10 decimeters is one meter. And you know the number is going to get larger because meter to decimeter is larger is um, larger to smaller. So your number is going to go smaller to larger. How many um, liter is in a milliliter? We'll continue in the next part.